All right, welcome. This is a part of the 3C homework solution tutorial. Um, here, we're just doing the last part, which is just a review on just uh, your factoring, okay? So let's take a look. Number nine, okay? So if we look at this, we want to see if we can, the first step to factoring is to always make sure we can pull out GCF. There is a GCF here. The GCF here is two. So we pull out a two, leaving us with an x squared minus 12x um, plus, let's see, uh, three, six, 36, perfect. Okay, now we can still factor the inside out by using the x method. Two numbers that add up to negative 12 that multiplies to 36. The two numbers here are going to be six and six, they're both negatives. So, it should be inside the parentheses, breaks down into x minus six, and then x minus six, okay? But remember, there's that two that was always in front, all right? There's another way of writing this. It's two parentheses x minus six squared, okay? That's another way of writing it. There you go. You don't solve here, you do not solve. The question says to just factor. This now is in factored form. So you're done. There's no setting equal to zero. You're not solving here, you're just factoring. Read the question, okay? Let's look at 10, okay? Can we pull out GCF? We could. If we pull out GCF, uh, I think the GCF here is what, um, a two? We could pull out GCF here of two. Uh, oh no, we could actually pull out four. Okay, if we pull out four, this becomes a hundred, no, this becomes 25 X squared minus four, perfect. If you don't notice, this is actually a difference of squares, okay? And remember, a difference of squares, follow this format, okay? A, um, a squared minus B squared will break down into A plus B and A minus B, all right? So, take a look, okay? Squared minus squared. So, what is this number that makes 25X squared? 5x. 5x squared gets you 25x. 2 squared gets you 4. Do you see that? So that's how I'm breaking this down. So this can be written as 5x minus 2 and 5x plus 2. Remember, there's that 4 that was always outside here. Do you see that 4? So make sure you bring that 4 here. So technically that four was always on the outside the entire time, okay? So that's what needs to be brought down, all right? Please recognize it's a difference of squares here, okay? 11, A is not equal to one. You cannot use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, if you take a look, Okay, my IM3 students still make this mistake. Look, the quadratic formula is used to solve. The quadratic formula is used to solve. This problem is asking us to factor. So you cannot use the quadratic formula here. Okay, so you have to go old school. A is not equal to one. So you have to use what? You know, you have to split this into four terms. So. I'm gonna find a number that adds up to 16 that multiplies to make three times negative 35 is oh, negative 105, okay? So what are those two numbers? Ugh, uh, that's gonna be weird. Let's see, let's see, let's see. One, one and 105, no, two, no, ooh, let's try five because it ends with five. Let's do that division really quick. 
So let's see, this is two, two times five is 10. And bring down that five. So 121, ooh, 21, wait, ooh, that works. 21 and five, perfect. We just have to make this a negative. So 21 and negative five, right? So let's check, let's just double check. 21 plus negative five, that does get you 16. 21 times negative five, that does get you a negative 105, okay? So that works, yay. So I do this so I can now split this. Do you see how this becomes two numbers? This becomes 21y and this becomes negative 5y. So that's all I'm doing this for is to split it into four terms, okay? But nothing, but the other factors are still there. So the 3y squared is still there and minus 35 is still there. This becomes four terms. This allows us to use factor by grouping, okay? So draw the line down. Let's factor out the GCF. GCF here is 3y, leaving you with a y plus seven. Here we can factor out a negative five, leaving you with a y plus seven, perfect. So the similar term is y plus seven, and the factor term is 3y minus 5. There you go. Okay, are we done? Yeah, because this is now in factored form. Great job. That's it. And that is how you factor. Remember, the pull out a GCF using the X method, then use the X method, pulling out a GCF, then this is a recognizing a difference of squares. 11 was a straight um, um, splitting into four terms and using grouping. There you go.